Hello and welcome, this is Politique Revolutionary here to you today with Europa Universalis for the Cossacks. So this will serve as a guide for anyone playing as Byzantium and will allow him or her to be able to win. So in the beginning of the game, you want to hire a diplomatic reputation advisor. This will allow you to ally Hungary. So with Hungary, you want to make sure that they're rivaled to Venice and the Ottomans. Venice is not a necessity when allying um, Hungary, but it is by far a luxury and one of the best that you can get. So you want to ally Venice, definitely, and begin improving relations immediately. Then you must delete your Fort in Moria. It is unnecessary and will just waste money. Then you want to set Venice as a rival that will help you improve relations with Hungary. And you want to choose the mission Incorporate Athens into our country. Then you want to mess around with the states, asking for contributions, granting monopoly charters, demanding diplomatic support, administrative support, so on and so forth. Except for the nobility, who you will only demand military support, you won't call a diet. That would um, be dangerous amounts of influence, since they already control Moria, and it is by far unnecessary. So you will transport your ships to Achaia, and yeah, you will lower maintenance, and you will improve relations with Austria, which will get them friendly enough, but uh, you won't be able to ally them. Also, you'll like to improve relations with Albania. They make a useful ally, if possible. And then, after that, you just play a waiting game. Really? You have to transport your ships to, um, your troops to Achaia, and you want to set your provinces of interest to everything except for Vidin, because Vidin is gonna be a province of interest for Hungary. As you can see, oh, wait, no, it's not there. It will be soon. Soon enough, at least. Bulgaria com um, considers that a core, it seems. Okay. And, yeah. We'll unpause the game and begin. So we've already got 200 free at um, Monarch Points. So it seems like the Ottomans have the mission... Um, conquered the last crusader, um, Bastion, and so that means that they'll be attacking tiny little roads. The Ottomans have warned us, that is quite usual, and, well, there's nothing you can do to prevent it. I've heard of a strategy in which you release, um, Achaia and Moria as marches, and therefore the Ottomans cannot, um, warn you, but I do not know why. As you can see here, Vidin is a province of interest, um, and yeah, you're gonna set um, Hungary to um, friendly manually, even though it is um, neutral, which is okay. For the elements, manually set them to threatened, but um, it really doesn't make a difference since they already consider you threatened. As you can see, we are close to getting an alliance from Hungary, and that is because of the rivalry of Venice. So we're gonna move our fleet inside, gain two mercantilism apparently, and we're gonna mothball the fleet. Okay? And so we're at negative prestige, that is because apparently we have uncontested cores from the Ottomans, which is um really weird logic somehow. But yeah. Um and also of course there's the um decisions we make. So we'll um, increase the speed to speed 5, and we'll just wait until the alliance with Hungary goes through. Fortunately, we got some influence in the nobility, but there's nothing you can do about that, really. And it's just a waiting game. So, um, yeah. Royal marriage and alliance similar. So in here we got a uh, Champion of the Joust, really good event, though it will um, compromise their prestige quite badly, 
means that we won't be able to have very high morale because prestige does affect the morale. So we're going to be hiring four um, infantry units just so that Hungary allies us easier and it seems that the nobility are um, rather upset for some reason. There's nothing we can really do to fix that. Um, it will just have to change over time. Giving them a province will just be disastrous to our country. So it's gonna leave be. And so yeah, we're gonna just continue the waiting game. We have a um, little bit of legitimacy and very little prestige because of that. So we're gonna move the armies to Achaia and we're gonna see if we can ally Hungary quite soon. It's negative two, negative three, so negative one. I hope we get this before the Ottomans attack. As you can see, they've got units around. And now we've got influenza, great. Soon we can ally, yes. We have um, the alliance with Hungary. This is the critical alliance that will allow you to defeat the Ottomans. Except the royal marriage. There's really no reason to not. And we're going to sell our navy to Athens for quite a bit of gold. Not our entire navy, but um, we have to split it up. So s detach the six transports. Um, don't detach the five galleys. We're going to detach six transports, and we're going to detach three galleys off of the main, and we're going to sell the remaining two, two to um, to Athens for 60 gold. Quite a lot. I believe they won't accept 70 because of force limit. There's really no reason for them to not accept, actually. So th that's quite good. Merge these two armies, then we'll sell to Fizan. They've got quite a lot of gold, and they're willing to buy transports, which is quite fortunate for us. 50 gold. Pretty good deal. Especially since they're not our vassal. And then for um, Cyprus, they also tend to want some. Very low price there. So then we still have the nobility just hating our guts for some reason. I believe that's based off prestige. And we have our 100 tradition general. Not very good, but he's got five maneuver, which will make it very valuable in attacking. Though you shouldn't really be doing too much attacking while fighting the Ottomans, it is of course a possibility. So then, um, we want to try to ally Albania, but um, they really don't seem to want to ally us. It seems we've got provinces of vital interest that we share and yeah that's not gonna happen like we could revoke those provinces of vital interest but it's quite useful still improve relations with them we are running a deficit because um, we put our units on full maintenance because there's just Ottoman troops nearby and yeah so Albania's prov wants which provinces wow they want all of the Ottomans, all of Serbia, Ragusa, and part of Naples. I believe that's more than six provinces of shared interest, I believe. Yeah. Don't know why. So we've got some noble rebels that want to come to kill us. But hopefully that won't happen. Hopefully. So with Hungary, um, there's nothing really to check here. I don't know why I clicked it. We've got Allied Actitude. Um, so the Ottomans are coming for us. They've got troops near our borders, but they don't seem confident in attacking us. So we're going to raise development in our provinces, and that's going to give us 11 force on it, making us lose not so much money. Gaining stability, quite nice. Very, very nice. War of the Roses, yay. Well, not yay for England, but yay for us, I guess. Weaker England, right? Always not a bad thing. Weaker world power, right? Um, yay, we gained 50 um, military points. Very good for us. Still have the same mission the Ottomans have, and they haven't acted upon it. 
Um, Hungary has a truce with the Ottomans, meaning that we cannot call them to arms in the offensive war, since the Ottomans seem to have no interest in declaring war themselves. Which is unfortunate-ish. Not really. We can always promise them land, right? Since we do not owe any favors, and of course favors are really hard to come by. Um, promising land, still have a truce, so, yeah, there's nothing we can do. So, this is just waiting until the Ottomans declare, or until Hungary's truce with the Ottomans expires. So, Albania seems like they're going to be annexed. You can see flashes of Venetian troops as our one vassal transport ship or something like that um, passes by. We're making tiny bits of gold. Well, not making any more. And, yeah. We've got one favor. That's good. Um, I like losing Patriarch Authority. I know many people like Patriarch Authority, but I don't really see any use. Like, unless if you're a very large country, there's really no use at the beginning of the game, especially. You just want to get the sweet bonuses. And there, we lost our king. Yay. No, not really. Oh, he's a better king. He'll do fine for us. Free two. Free free two. Pretty good. Not really. Below average. Hmm, looks like Georgia's getting occupied. Okay, so... We can declare war on the Ottomans. Ah, but Hungary still has the truce, apparently. Maybe it doesn't update until the end of the month. Um, wow, that's a lot of offense. Um, we have to lose this ability. Yeah. I hate losing stability, but especially in the early game. Yeah. So the burgers, they hate us a little bit, but it's not really that bad. It's a little bit of um, discontent. So we're making tiny bits of gold still. We still have a ton saved up. And now we can call Hungary to arms. And we can um, declare over Yanya. Which is our core. And a really nice location. We aren't even close to an alliance with Austria. They've got a regency, that's weird. And But we can ally Wallachia within one click. One month, sorry. I don't know why I call them clicks. And, yeah. There. We've got an alliance with Wallachia. I'll add an extra 7k troops to our army. That will be useful. Especially since... The Ottomans are the Ottomans, and they start with discipline. And we're gonna accept? No, we're gonna decline. Yeah. So, just a waiting game. Um, I think we should declare war now. Yeah. Um, so, Wallachia wants Vidin as well, so this is weird. Suppose it's okay. Poland doesn't want to ally us at all. It seems, but that's okay. We can do this with just hunger. I've done it before. It's quite fun. Really fun to just beat up on the Ottomans. Wreck them. Close to military tech, it seems. Uh, we can can't really do anything. We can force religion, but can't do anything with Athens. And the estate is still there. Yeah. We're just gonna wait till the um, 14 stack is on the other side of the strait, so it takes them a little bit of time. It seems like Hungary um, helped up the Austrians in defeating those rebels. Weird. So Hungary's allied to Tunis. I mean, not Hungary, sorry. The Ottomans are allied to Tunis, which is unfortunate. But there's nothing really we can do about it, so yeah. We should probably declare war soon. Promise them land, right? And call them to arms. So declare war over Ye <coughs> Yanya. And there. We're at war with the Ottomans. Us being the aggressor, which is quite, quite weird. Okay, we're gonna help out our ally in this battle. We should defeat them. We have the numerical advantage. 
got the better general. Well, they've got no general, but. We gained 50 diplo points. It looks like the Hungarians are fighting in the other Ottoman stack. Hopefully they stack wipe. I just don't think they will. It's the Ottomans after all. They've got their amazing two-star general, 444. 4441, technically. And yeah, so far battles are in our favor. And we're going to hire another infantry to siege down Yanya. Because that's really useful. So then we're going to start sieging down their provinces. And we've got very favorable relative strength of the alliance. Though it seems that Tunis wants to siege down some Hungarian territory from behind. Those old bastards. Eh, there's nothing we can do. Actually, there's something that we can do, but we're not going to do it because... It's Hungary. And they've got insufficient support. So we're going to fire our advisor. He served us well. He was a great man. So on and so forth. He's just fired, okay? We can't afford him. This is war. We have to survive or we die trying. I start the siege of Yanya. And yeah. So our allies are all. We're sieging down three Ottoman forts. They're sieging down none, unless if that one's down that counts. And yeah, nothing greatly. Looks like the Ottomans moved their troops into Constantinople. They finished the siege of the war goal. And Vidin is occupied by Wallachia. I think that means that since... I don't know if we don't give it to Hungary, since it's we can't give it to Hungary technically, then um, they won't lose anything, any trust with us, so um, there won't be any um, consequences. I'm definitely not going to give it to Wallachia. So there's a staggering 28,000 troops in Constantinople, and it seems like our allies want to fight them. Not all, obviously. I lose another stability. It's because prestige affects morale. And it's just annoying. But it's necessary. See, we've got 3.2 morale. That's really good. Since we're, we've got higher tech. So, yeah. Eastern tech over Ottoman tech. I don't know what happened to the Ottomans. They used to be really good on tech. No, they're not. So they're definitely going to win the Siege of Constantinople before us, which is unfortunate. Looks like they're using their transports to um, go across, even though they've got a perfectly accessible strait. I don't know, maybe because they're fools. They are fools at times. So it looks like the Hungarians killed the Tunisians. And yes, we have inferior fleet quality. So, yeah, our siege of Adirn is not going quite well. If we could just attack them, but no. Like, this is really stupid. We shouldn't, we can't, like, even move into our own capital. This is what I hate about the new fort system. Looks like they're gonna siege it down. I think this is what lots of people hate about the new fort system. So this is going to cause lots of war exhaustion. We gained 50 military power, yay. And now we have tech 4. So that's 5.5% morale. And the Ottomans don't have it. But Hungary does. Which means that our troops are going to win basically every battle. So they just switched out troops. They've still got 0% siege progress. They're winning the siege, technically. We're doing okay on the siege of Edirne. Oh, it seems like they're going to attack us now. Hopefully Hungary. Yeah, Hungary's going to help. We've got numerical advantage, though. Huge numerical advantage. Yeah, and straight cost crossing penalty. It's just huge. Oh god, they're at 7% on our capital. So I'm gonna just let Hungary take that. 
Siege, and I'm gonna siege down Selenjik. Selenik. Selenik, I suppose. So, yeah. We're still losing money. Um, we've won basically all the battles. States still hurt. And the Siege of Constantinople hurts a lot. Zero loot bar, wow. Keep on sieging their small provinces, drive up their war exhaustion. Yeah, defenders to share. 100% blockaded in all instances. Okay, this is bad. Yeah, our war exhaustion is just going sky high. We just spent all our diplo points. Freddy K and Edirn. It's pretty good. We can make peace now, but we probably shouldn't. We could conquer all the cores back, that's the entire point. Um why take the easy path if we could just restart? <laughs> Just restart after this. Usually it takes about five restarts for the Basilisk achievement. It's not a very hard achievement comparatively to others. So, unfortunately, no revolt in Constantinople to throw off the defend and the attackers. We still got really good progress on Edirne. Yeah. Yeah. can make a piece soon if we wanted to, but no. Let's see. Our siege ticks are nearly the same time, so it's like watching two different things like go wrong at the same time. Or go right. Depends. I think go wrong since they're sieging down our capital. <laughs> it's um fourteen fifty three, so this is when we historically fell, but we're not gonna allow that. We have to kill these Ottomans. Kill them. Maybe we could um, force our allies to assault, but that would take so much um, morale away. Oh. And they won the Siege of Constantinople. We've got Sky Rocketing. Um, sky Rocketing. War Exhaustion. And it seems our young allies are being cocky. We better go reinforce the Siege of Edirne. Improvement with Wallachia of um, relations is topped off. Yep, they lost the battle. It's not the end of the world, but it's bad. If we can win the Siege of Edirne before they kill us, that would be great. Hopefully we do. Athens is still trying to preserve our siege, but there's nothing they can do really. Yeah, they're gonna get stack wiped, aren't they? Such a tiny army. Yeah, done. Done for. Looks like they're gonna return to provinces. Hey, Hungary is very resilient. Yay. Trying to stand up for themselves. I don't understand why the Ottomans haven't attacked me yet. Sieging down their entire. Oh wow. There's lots of provinces that returned. Um, but I'm sieging down their capital and they're just, like, chill. Take advantage, please, save me. Oh, they've got the same morale. So, hopefully, Hungary helps us, but. Looks like our general's doing his job. We've got, um, they've got river crossing penalty. Yeah, we're just gonna crush them. Another stability loss. We lost like free stability or something. Wow, 99 work session. Not 99. 9.99. So we lost a lot of men in that battle. They were brave soldiers. They helped their cause greatly. Can you get more alpha armies. That's gonna help. Where is our morale? Help us win this war. In Ottomans might siege back that fort, but we're gonna siege down Edirne quickly, hopefully. I've seen sieges go to 70 and stuff like 90 without winning. Not here, 
not at this stage of the game, but like late game sieges sometimes are just ridiculously long. Looks like Hunger's gonna fight a battle for us. Thank the gods. Um, yeah, that's two little troops. So we won the siege of Edirne. We can now move freely. No, we can't. Anyways, we'll just siege down Constantinople. Siege down our own capital. Because that's life. At least the Ottomans don't have a capital either, so, yeah. And armies retreating. Looks like there might be another one coming to us. Yeah. There's another one going to Edirne. Looks like, yeah, there's a battle. We win, right? Please. Pretty please. Thank you. Yeah. Killed them. Seems like Tunis is the leader of the battle, though, which is weird. More admin points lost, yay. We definitely have enough for lots of land now. We do not have enough for all that, but soon, soon we will. So, yes, now we have enough for all the land. Not sure if we should make peace now, but yeah. As you can see, we have successfully defeated the Ottomans at their own game. Hungary won't be affected in trust because Vidin is occupied by Wallachia, but um, definitely um, Wallachia will hate us, but who cares? It's Wallachia. It's like the most expendable state. Their coin costs, though. Wow. Yeah, I dislike Wallachia so much for their coin costs. So, yeah, peace offer from the Ottomans. They'll see lots of territory to us. They better. We're doing quite well. This seems like there's gonna be another battle. There's 13 war exhaustion. Yeah, that's just too much. So, yeah, make peace. And that's how you defeat the Ottomans. Expendable Wallachia. Very trustworthy Hungary. They owe us four favors. And the phoenix has risen. Thank you for watching my um, guide video. I'll t um, upload the rest of the campaign later. And I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Wow. Oh, nobility. Where's...